today I'm going to review the HD5770 from XFX. So first I'll go over the accessories. Okay, so first you have a nice installation guide, which is very easy to use. So on, um, yeah, if you have problems installing it, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> also comes with a nice um, door handle here, do not disturb, I'm gaming. And lastly, a driver CD, which um, you should not use because the newest drivers are online. And lastly, um, you have your little Molex to um, PCI Express cord, this adapter here, and then, um, yeah, if you don't have a power supply that does have a 6 pin on PCI um, power cord, you should probably get one, because um, that power supply probably doesn't have enough amperage or amps in general just to run the cards, and even if it does, it probably will, uh, over a couple of months, will burn out, or the card itself will burn out, and yeah, you don't want that to happen, so just a warning. Anyways, this is the card. As you can see, it has a nice metallic design in the front. Very awesome looking. Nice red stripe. And a 60mm fan, which actually cools pretty good because of the special one. As you see, the knots on the side of it, the little chisels each on each on fan wing. So you should actually consider this as a pretty good cooler. You won't have to go for any aftermarket cooling. And on the side, you can see it has one crossfire bridge, and that's because this is not the reference model. Even though it looks exactly the same, this was actually built in um, December, and that's when they actually stopped using two crossfire ports. And kind of cut down a bit, and they only used one. And here you can see the 6-pin on PCI Express power slot. And on the outside, you can see it has two DVI, one HDMI, and one display port. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching my review of the HD5770.